Hello there. Long time no see. Where have I been, you may ask? I had been playing video games. Anyways, I was browsing Eleven Labs and just discovered they have many more new expressive voices. I found one I like, so had to make a new video. The computer I'm currently on has no NVIDIA graphics card and has very little RAM and is not very powerful at all. But let's see what we can do regardless. Anyways, on Eleven Labs, there is one by the name of Sassy Erisita. Let's have a listen. I don't bite my tongue for nobody. If you don't like it, that ain't my problem. Search Erisita in the voice library for my other voices. I love it. Thank you. Well, I'm not sure what kind of installs, if any, we can do on this computer. But I guess we can try out something like, oh, Llama. They apparently have an installer for Windows now, so let's see how that goes. Let's go to their site and click the download for Windows Preview. And double-click the installer file, then click the Install button to start the installation. Once the installation completed, I received this notification telling me to click it to get started, so I clicked it. Doing that brought up a PowerShell window. The window said to run your first model. Type O Llama Run Llama 3.1. So I just copy pasted that and hit enter. Since this was my first time doing this, it first began downloading the 4.7 gigabyte model to my hard drive. This took a while, so I'm gonna just skip ahead for the video. When it finished, it said success. But right after that, it said error. Um, make up your mind. Which is it? Anyways, it looks like this computer unfortunately does not have enough RAM to run this. I tried out a bunch of different models to no avail until I finally tried this instruct Q2 underscore K model. Initially, it also failed with the same issue, but then I went into Task Manager and did an end task on Microsoft Edge to free up some RAM. Then I tried again, and this time it worked. It turns out, this computer has just enough RAM to run the smallest model when there are almost no other applications open on the computer. Let's test it out. I'm going to ask it something profound. It thought about this for a very long time and then eventually slowly started giving me the answer. This computer has just enough RAM. I have a feeling if I were to open Notepad right now, it would result in a blue screen of death. I would like to try one more prompt. Let's ask it to create a snake game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. While it slowly churned out code for the snake game, on my other computer, I played the snake game on a Google search tab while I waited. My high score is 65 apples. See if you can beat that score. I'm going to skip ahead to when it has finished generating the code. It has finally finished with the code. It also gives a little summary at the end of the code. I'm going to create the HTML and JavaScript files and copy-paste the code it generated into them. On the desktop, I have the HTML file and the JavaScript file with the code it generated. I also went ahead and closed the old llama so that I can open Microsoft Edge to test the game without my computer crashing. And there we have it, our snake game. A completely blank screen. A white snake on a white background with white apples and with white text? I suppose that's possible, but let's check for errors. I'm going to open DevTools and refresh the page. We can ignore the first error because there is no CSS file for our test, but the second error says unexpected token else. If we click on this link, it will take us to where the error is. And we see the issue here. It is a syntax error. There is a semicolon before the else. That semicolon should not be there. So I am going to open the JavaScript file and delete that semicolon. And now if we refresh the page, that error is gone. And now we have our snake game, a giant black rectangle with a black snake and black apples and black text? Maybe, but most likely an issue with the code. We would have to have a back and forth conversation with the llama to find out why it is not working. But anyways, did you think going into this video that we would be debugging JavaScript code? You never know what turns these videos are going to take. Anyways, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. That was great. So in conclusion, I think I need to set up my other computer again before trying local AI stuff that requires GPU and RAM. Next time, we will discuss ducks. Why did the screen go blank in the middle of my sentence? I demand something on this screen while I'm talking. I have more to say. Don't end yet.